I don't think you have to make a big hype around it because we are ready for any job. You do not have to uh, <laughs> treat them like some Wonder Woman. So yeah, I mean we can do everything. That's what I would tell every woman, whatever situation you are in. So welcome back to the third episode of the Strategist Show with Bilna Sandeep. The Strategist Show where we bring top one percentage minds from different niches and different uh, location, and where we have discussions about uh, marketing and uh, growth and leadership about everything. So uh, welcome to the show, Bilna. Thank you so much, Harris, and thanks a lot for inviting me. And yeah, let's begin. And this is <laughs> and happy a- Women's Day to everybody, <laughs> all the women in your team. <laughs> so this is not like a normal uh, session. <laughs> We have invited you for Women's Day. Yes. <laughs> so I'll start with my Women's Day wishes to all the amazing women in your team. I've seen some of them on your on your stories and on your uh, uh, social media channels, and they look it's amazing team you have. So congrats on building Harris and Co. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so uh, I I think we have met like one and a half, one one year back. In yes. Yes. We were also building your brand. I'm also yes. building your brand. We were exactly. posting a lot of uh, Instagram free stuff. And, yes. <laughs> uh, we started understanding each other, but till then, I think this was not happened. Yeah, this is the first time I think we are speaking face to face. I think we spoke a lot on uh, WhatsApp and uh, Instagram yeah. DMs. Yeah. <laughs> So uh so this is the reason see I we didn't choose you for women's day simply right so there's a reason okay why we chose you you are building okay. homepreneurs club right? yes and what is homepreneurs club you are uh, yeah before i go to into that yes. <laughs> the trying to build uh, the culture of working women the culture yes. of managing both uplifting them telling them yes i will lead you i'll tell you how to do so there's a lot of things you are trying to build through home homepreneurs club so we'll start the uh, discussion with that only like what is homepreneurs club and why uh, so basically homepreneurs club is like a monthly mom- membership platform and it's uh, mainly for women owned women owned business owners all small businesses so The reason why I launched it is because earlier, before I launched Homepreneurs Club, I had a course for women, uh, for small businesses on uh, how to grow your business on Instagram. But what I realized was that women were always focusing on Instagram, and they were not, they were not really focusing on other aspects of business, and uh, they they didn't know how to get sales. Most of them were like looking at getting reach and all those things. So I wanted to give them a platform in which they could get access to different industry experts, different digital marketing strategies, because not everyone may be able to uh, afford to outsource it. So probably they want to do it themselves. They want to learn how to do all the businesses strategy. So that's why we brought in this concept of uh, Homepreneurs Club. in which every month we have webinars as well as online networking sessions basically for the members of the club to talk to each other interact so in the monthly networking session what we do is we let the members speak we let them tell us what they're working on currently what issues they are facing and we have an open discussion with each other uh, so that's what i wanted to build instead of doing just a course i wanted to have it like a online network of women who can talk to each other and share their concern and issues they have in the business so yeah that's what homepreneurs club is great 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 i i i think there's a lot of such clubs for men and yes. uh, you are bringing the change right so kudos to you for that uh, huge huge respect uh, for that thank you but uh, how do you how do you how do you build that community like what are the problems you have faced and how do you consistent in in that how do you become consistent in that community because i think when you build con- con- community the consistency is something which even i have failed uh, tremendous times when i try to build a community so what makes your community strong 
Uh, well, it's like uh, even I have also failed a lot of times. We all fail and learn. And uh, what I do inside the Home Finance Club is I'm very open with the club members. I even show them some of the back ends of our business of how I do my business operations, how I deal with these things so that they also get insight. You know, I even show them like what is behind my, our website or how even some of our sales funnels, which we have, we even show that to our uh, entrepreneurs inside the club so that there's a trust factor. I mean, I, I openly tell them that there is a fee to join the club because I have my expenses of running the club and administrating it. So they know about it and they also know how much the expenses are for running the platform so that's how i build that trust with them i don't tell them that i'm just giving a free service or anything i am very open with them uh, this has uh, ex, uh, ex, uh, what do you say expenses and also one more thing is that it also brings accountability to them so that is one reason that brings consistency so that's like a uh, free content versus paid content like when it's a free content people learn but they forget they forget to take actions now inside the club we started something recently which i'm pushing on and we are building that uh, now which is called accountability boards so two or three members together they form a board uh, and like like a small group and what they do is uh, they discuss different topics on their whatsapp groups or if they are in the same locality they can even meet and uh, they even whatever we teach in the club they put like assignments to each other and then they learn from that or how they are implementing it so that kind of accountability is what i'm trying to build because just building consistency at some point they might lose it because there's a lot of free content available online right but uh, the accountability is what is missing in the free content part i feel yeah i heard somewhere like when you pay you uh you you grab attention and when there is an attention exactly the difference happens so uh exactly. that's a that's a great input for uh yeah whoever that who is looking for building a community accountability is something which you need to focus and communities should have some kind of a barter system right like you exactly. pay and you get something some kind of a barter system exactly. you should have so uh another thing like what are so you you're working with a lot of women right and yes. you will have an understanding like what are the problems which they uh, yes. face and how how did you or how did they solve those problems so that that will help a lot of women listeners because they'll also be going through the same problem. you are also yes. not now you might have yes. experienced a yes. lot of things so exactly uh yeah um you can yeah i think the biggest problem is like we say that we have family support all those things uh, a lot of women would say that i have support of my spouse or my parents or my kids and all but practically what happens is if you're going to a nine to five job outside your home uh, from nine to five you're working on your career there's no distractions you are there physically present but what happens when you're running a business from home is that the family needs to really understand that this is similar to a nine to five job they are serious about it but, but what I see a lot of women face, even myself, I used to have this issue is like, we start pushing ourselves back when things come up at home. If you have a guest, uh, unexpected guest coming, then you're supposed to go and attend them. Instead, probably that's a time that you have set for your business. So the family and whoever is coming home needs to understand that she is serious about her business. She's running a business from home home just because she's running it from home doesn't mean that it's a hobby it is a business so women need to start considering it as a business first themselves they need to believe in themselves and they need to start considering it as a business and they need to clearly communicate to the family and relatives and everybody that this is a business i'm running and i have to set it as a priority so that's what i feel uh, one of because everything else strategy is everything you can learn and implement but this mindset of the very first chain that you need to do is hobby to an actual business so that's what happens with the women great 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 i think one point which i will stress with you uh they need to consider themselves yes exactly this is my thing and i yes. don't want anybody <laughs> to interfere <laughs> right exactly uh, yeah so uh another question is like why marketing uh in my side yeah 
uh because actually i was not into marketing uh, what i learned in college is civil engineering and i have been in construction industry for 12 years and i was a commercial manager in the last one year and uh, but how i got into marketing field is basically actually 8 years ago i resigned my job and took one year break to be with my son yeah. and i realized being at home is not for me because it was very difficult for me to be at home and being idle so i started blogging i started a website in which i used to share my parenting journey and then uh, i started getting good traction on that i started getting brand collaborations then i wanted to market myself to get more brand collaborations but i didn't know digital marketing or how to do facebook marketing or anything and instagram was only just growing at that time it was not a thing at all mm-hmm. and then i decided to learn uh, because i wanted to promote my own services and i mean my own blog and uh, but then when i started promoting my own uh, blog uh, people started approaching me again it was small business owners especially women in different networking groups i was part of they started reading my blogs and they started asking me can you promote my business on my facebook page so that time i started by doing some facebook page takeovers for women on businesses and that's how i started learning more about marketing but i didn't continue it actually after a few months i stopped it so the homepreneurs account which you see is something that i started 8 years ago and i stopped it in 2 months and then we relaunched it 2 years ago so yeah that's what happened <laughs> okay 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 so uh, yeah so you have started homepreneurs club and uh, so when you what what are the tips uh this is going to be a technical question and very basic question but yes. i i should include that so what are the tips you have for small business or for women on small business to grow their business in instagram or uh, any channel uh basically the tip that i have is they don't have to really focus on instagram that is a very first tip and tip i want to say they have to look at which area is working for them because uh, not every business may be the best fit for instagram sometimes some of the businesses may be better on linkedin some of them may do better on facebook so they can initially do a test out of different social media and they don't really have to put in all the efforts on instagram just because somebody else is uh, successful on instagram so they have to be ready to let go of the things that's not working let go of the strategies that's not working for their own business and and build on the ones that is actually started working for them so if they are getting more uh, especially if you are a service based business maybe instagram not be may not be the right platform for you so that way they need to look at the different options different marketing options they have and decide on the one that is giving them the best returns because they may not be able to focus on all of them at a time they may not have a huge team to do that so that's what i would say on marketing yeah so when you or uh, talk about the team do, do you have a team or you are a one man yes and no i do have a team we are a small team of uh, now we are a team of six people in that uh, four are women okay. and we have two guys yeah <laughs> so we are trying to build a team of women more we focus more on women but we do have uh, guys as well Great. and it's a remote team everyone is remote team. so how 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 everybody is working with a remote team it's really hard now i'm trying to build it as a team because uh, especially in the last I, until december i was working full time but it is only because of them my business was able to grow because i was only working on weekends and they were the ones who did all the hard work so now last 3 months i have been working full time on business and now we are slowly building up the team building part of it because we were all different parts and they didn't really know much about each other but now we are trying to bring in fact something is coming up today so you will see that soon oh wow, wow, wow. okay so i was about to ask what's next so you know <laughs> something is coming up yeah right? something yeah. on the team part yeah or dubai uh, we have here uh, one of them is here and others are in india okay you i think you have come to india like one month back yes uh, in december december i came for vacation okay great 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh, so you have started course right yes so i wanted a few input over there also like what kind of course you have started and how how did you marketed your course 
So I started something called Homepreneurs Biz School that we launched it in February last month. We started the first batch on 1st of March. And it's a uh, it's not like an evergreen course. It's like we do we are doing it batch wise. So I plan to do like three batches per year. Uh, so the first batch we started on first of March. So it's basically everything you will need to start your business, grow your business, and scale your business. All the three phases of your business. It's not only marketing. It also takes you through the different workflows you need to have in your business, different automations you can set in your business. How do you do uh, networking in a structured way so that you can bring in leads into your business? So all these areas are covered in Homepreneurs Biz School. And uh, so, yes, we launched it. Uh, the f- marketing strategy behind Biz School was... Uh, Nothing major. Uh, it's again, we had already built a community. So everyone who joined, none of them are new. Everybody were part of the community. Uh, and in fact, all of them who joined were all part of Homepreneurs Club for the first batch. So so they, they know me. So like you said, the community part, they know, they trust me and they know they have seen the results they're getting through the club and they were ready to take the, because this school is more of a premium one. It's a high priced one uh, because it's an intensive coaching program. They get everything. They don't have to go here and they're searching all the worksheets. And, and also, uh, again, the accountability factor is high because when you pay more, you are really accountable. So I can see all of them. And we do have three group coaching sessions as well every week in addition to the uh, recorded uh, recorded uh, lessons they have they get to come live with me and we do the brainstorming sessions together so they are doing their work and they have no choice the teacher is coming and <laughs> following up as well they'll have to. Yeah. So one thing which i'm going to take from this whole session is that the the accountability part i mean you have yes. that point to a lot of time. yes accountability yes needed for everyone like for us also accountability is needed like exactly you, uh the accountability is always going to be the uh, you'll have to do the payments and all yes. this so somewhere accountability pushes us so uh yes. where do you build your community like is it through whatsapp or uh, my community one is on instagram linkedin is something i started building on recently Mm -hmm. and i also go for in-person networking events here in dubai so most of the clients that we get in dubai are from the networking events that i go to Uh, there are some paid networks here paid networking events uh, and especially women on uh, groups are the women uh, women business owners groups so i do go there i network with them and uh, yes so that is something which i feel is very important as a community and i also have a podcast which people are listening to uh, a lot so when we launched at first it was not getting a lot of traction but now i have a lot of returning visitors on the podcast who keeps listening to so those people are again my community because uh, they have been listening they have been hearing my voice while driving or probably while working out in the gym or while uh, t- uh, you know while traveling in the t- metro so they have that trust factor more so that is one way another way i build community and that's my evergreen content because it's part it's on my website as well it stays as a blog post on my website as well uh, whereas social media content dies after probably 48 hours or three days maximum it dies away uh, so this is an evergreen platform for me yeah so uh my next question see uh, i've asked the same question uh yes community part where do you build the home printers community is it through whatsapp no it's on kajabi we have a Kaj- on kajabi uh hey, it's kajabi. posted on Kajabi is uh, just like WordPress. It's a course platform. Okay. So my, both my Biz School as well as my uh, uh, Homepreneurs Club, both of them are hosted on Kajabi. So all the recorded lessons are available on it. And in addition to that, we also have a Facebook group for the paid members, separate Facebook group linked to it. So they can interact with each other. But the lessons are available on Kajabi. Okay, great, 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 great. So Kajabi, I'm I'm hearing it for the first time. Maybe we are also starting like something called small business tour and we'll try That's to nice. uh inculcate Kajabi or such yeah. tools into that. So if you uh, look on building courses, Kajabi is one of the best platform because it offers you a website, it offers you email marketing as well as a course platform. 
so three in one tool what are the other two other tools you use like on a daily basis which will help the uh, small business also so one thing that we use is airtable which is our project management tool yeah. all our team are working on it so basically uh, for my on homepreneurs instagram account what we do is when uh, i have an so i have a like a content strategy like we post these many days on mondays for this tuesday for this like that and then so my uh, team they will put it on pipeline for each of the date this is the uh, post and then uh, i would uh, write if i have any comments i would put something then it goes to the graphic designer she will do the graphic design and upload it on a, a table then after that the caption will be done and it comes to me for approval so there's an option for me to approve it or i can even comment if i have any changes so it's a very nice tool that is uh, we now we started social media marketing agency also so for that as well we give access to our clients and we create a separate base for them so that also works very well they can put their comments in there so air table is like something we can't live out, live without right now <laughs> as a team uh, uh, then, like, uh, another version of uh, asana or uh, uh asana uh, in i don't think in asana it's uh, they have like uh, as, work is assigned to each team member right here it doesn't come as an assignment but more like a database management system you can say so everything will be there now i any time i want to go back i can check what i posted in last year january uh, on my instagram with the date you know so that is very uh, useful for us to repurpose the content as well uh, so that's what we do we use air table for uh, we have tried to use slack we have tried to implement slack along with air table but it didn't work in the first go maybe after some time i like i'll try that again because i want that integration i want to remove the whatsapp group from yeah. uh, from so yeah. that's something we are working on then we uh, recently i invested into dubsedo uh, it's mainly to manage uh, as a crm for the social media marketing agency to manage our clients so it takes care of it just automatically sends the booking links it automatically will send the proposal everything uh, so these two tools then we use canva pro so all the team works on that uh, tool for yeah. <laughs> canva is like um, everybody is go to tool now <laughs> and of course google suite uh, for all our uh, google drive putting everything all the documents so yeah these are the major tools that we use we also use for our podcast we use anchor we record our podcast on anchor and it gets distributed to all platforms then the usual tools were, were wordpress and all those things so but these air table is something that we cannot live without yeah so one last <laughs> question is that how do you manage your time time management uh, the thing is it's only because of the team that we can manage uh, otherwise i would be like burn out now so what i do is like morning 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock is my focus time at that time is when i work after that in the evenings mostly i spend with kids and if there are some events like this or uh, anything additional we do have it in the afternoon but my working hours i keep it 9 to 1 and uh, the time management happens also because of this dubsedo and air table and all because it helps me uh, uh, not waste the time on unnecessary stuffs and i do send my service guide to people before they book a call with me so they know the rates i don't get people uh, who are who do not have the budget that come to us so discovery calls i reduce so these kind of things we do you create a lot of frictions in between and yeah <laughs> so the, it's easier uh, for us to filter out <laughs> yeah 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 so one final question we have a lot of beautiful women working with our team uh, yes. with with respect to content writing with respect to social media management with respect to marketplace management so what is your uh, go to advice or suggestions for them i would say that you don't have to consider yourself as a woman or a, or a guy because 
we are made for it we can do any job a guy is doing so we don't have to feel like i am in marketing because earlier i think digital marketing it was mostly like guys world but like uh, i see even today i saw some posts in which they, uh, there was uh, someone one of the accounts had posted tag a women in marketing i don't mm-hmm. think you have to make a big hype around it because we are ready for any job we we have reached moon so why not <laughs> yeah. yeah so yeah. that's that's the attitude you should take i think <laughs> you do not have to uh treat <laughs> them like some wonder woman so yeah i mean we can do everything that's what i would tell every woman whatever situation you are in if you are married if you have kids or if you are in college studying or working independent whatever whatever is your dream go and pursue it that's what i would say very great, great thank you so <laughs> much bilna i mean thank you so much for i think it, it was a kick not it so i'm really yeah, happy that's for that. <laughs> take my total apology for you uh, no problem but you have accepted and uh, thank you so much for coming uh, to our show for this particular day and sharing all your wisdom with us i think there's a lot of things even i learned with dubsedo now i'll have to go to google and search about it <laughs> what is dubsedo and how how i can get a table and uh, <laughs> how to build that community accountability there's a lot of things that is going around in my mind so thank you so much <laughs> for uh, sharing all the information and uh, i wish you nothing but a uh, big success and, uh, and same to you <laughs> you see at the top as i always say <laughs> thank you so much and i should also tell you i really appreciate the way you're building your team i love your posts that especially the ones that includes your team and the one you did for valentines day that was amazing <laughs> <laughs> so and not only that i like every post you have with your team it's all like really good we like them <laughs> appreciation goes to them I mean yeah it's always <laughs> them, uh working behind that's nice <laughs> and you are the best leader they have <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much bilna so i thank cannot you. wait to upload this podcast and sure. <laughs> and i'll sh- keep surely share you the link and uh, yeah <laughs> it will help a lot of people i suppose thank you so much and thanks for inviting me to be to see your team i didn't see any questions from your team though <laughs> <laughs> so i i don't want this to be a question answer session so that uh, it, uh, uh, okay uh, put uh, them all on mute <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so okay I, i'm sure that yeah you, i'll be when when you are in india will be inviting you to the office and uh, definitely we are also starting something called small business store and where we are planning That's to nice. go into each uh, city and building the That's community nice. out of small business so that's very uh, we'll good. need your help definitely i'll be trying to sure. i'll be bugging you <laughs> sure <laughs> i will also need your help on different things i'll also yeah. bug you <laughs> it's always about collaboration <laughs> <laughs> okay then see you <laughs> bye see you aris